They were breathtaking moments, all captured on video. That's crazy. Just after an eight-year-old boy and his family load the Screaming Eagle chairlift, the child is dangling. His father's grasp, all that's keeping the boy from falling an estimated six meters. There was a man with a kid struggling to keep the kid in the chair um, and yelling for the operator to stop the chair. But the operator didn't hear because the music was too loud. And so the chair kept on going up and up and up. Dad, watch out! Then something incredible happens. Five young boys, just 13 and 14 years old, create a makeshift rescue trampoline. So I pointed to the net up there and I said, you go grab the net and me and Josh will go and run and get this padding. So then I ran up behind him and helped him strip that off and then go and put it on the block, thing that blocks it off. Well, and I yelled up and I said, okay, you need to take your skis off because if you fall with your skis on, it's probably going to be worse. And then at one point we were just, okay, you just need to trust us, you just need to drop. And so then he dropped, we caught him. Wow, they're heroes. The little boy was unharmed. He was just like kind of sitting there like on the mat, just like his face was just like, just like, yeah. He didn't really know what to think, I don't think. Here at the district of North Vancouver, Mayor Mike Little has told Global News that the boys were creative, courageous, and heroic. He's hoping to honor them, possibly with certificates of appreciation. As for why the boy slipped off the lift. In this particular circumstance, uh, it was a uh, loading uh, issue, uh, so I encourage people when they enter the loading area to be uh, to be aware of their surroundings and if they feel like they need some special attention or help getting on the chair that they, they notify the lift operator. Officials at Grouse Mountain wouldn't comment on the incident, saying only that each boy would have their season's passes extended for another year. Well deserved for the five young teens who are true heroes. It was an instinct almost, just you locked on to like a zone and you're just like, okay, this needs to be done. Catherine Urquhart, Global News.